All right, welcome to a new video. Uh, we're gonna go look at a house, going to talk about some things that have happened this month, not good, and uh, yeah, kind of go from there. So the lady that owns this property inherited it, and she was asking me if I could go out to look at it. There's been squatters in it. Uh, she's like, yeah, just go take a look. You know, I can't quite meet you down there today, but uh, go just break in yourself and see what you can offer. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm taking a look around now. It's all boarded up. So if I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna have to break all. Through, I'm gonna have to break through that stuff. But first thing I noticed immediately is that there's been a fire back here of sorts. It's an absolute jungle. Uh, but there's absolutely no way. She's like, yeah, can you go? Can you offer more than one hundred fifty thousand dollars? I'm like, I'll see. Highly doubt it. Can definitely tell people have been living here. Everything's boarded up. As soon as people see something boarded up, that's a telltale sign that they can come in, break in, and live in there and squat in there for free. So that's kind of like uh, what's been going on in these areas. I'm gonna look around, see what uh, we're working with here, but this thing is gonna need absolutely everything, and there's no way that she can get what she thinks she wants for this property. So that's the start off to the day. I told her I'd come by and take a look, but I'm not even gonna go through the hassle of breaking in. I mean, she's like, yeah, just remove the planks and break in. I'm like, yeah, okay. We're gonna be nowhere near what she wants for the property, so I'll bring her back down to reality, see what she says. And then not to mention we're on a main road. So it's just a double whammy. And yeah, here's the front, boarded up, boarded up, boarded up. Looks like they've actually removed some of the like trees and things of that nature from it, but it's still, uh, it's still a doozy. And then here's the main road. I mean, that's quick and easy. There's no shot that I'm gonna be buying this house. So I'll make an offer though. I mean, there's no way she's gonna get what she wants for this property. So I'll bring her back down to reality, kind of tell her where I need to be and then uh, see what she says. But that's a good start to, uh, Good start to Friday. She is way off. She's like, yeah, break in, no worries. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, so today's Sunday, uh, trying to get some fitness in because we're now in the CrossFit Open. So I haven't been working out as much, but I'm doing the Open. So essentially every week in CrossFit, they drop like a, a workout that everybody does uh, across the world. Second weekend, and I'm not doing near as well as I thought because I haven't been working out as much. So it's Sunday, I'm about to do this little piece. So nine bar muscle ups, 15 wall balls, 21 cal, rest two minutes, 15 chest to bar, 15 wall balls, 21 cal, rest two minutes, 21 toes to bar, 15 wall ball, 21 cow, rest two minutes and do this twice. I do some bodybuilding stuff as well during the week. The one thing about CrossFit though is like I crave that feeling of being absolutely dead and that is the one thing it gives. So I'm trying to keep, you know, maintain my health, overall health and fitness. CrossFit helps a lot with that. So I try to come at least a couple times a week, make sure that I uh, still can do some sort of, you know, fitness. <laughs> Holy hell, I am so out of shape. Oh my God, this hurts. Holy moly, that was, uh, that was really hard. The thing I like about this, like going back to like CrossFit in general, like some sort of cross training of sorts, I'm able to, to balance and I feel like when I'm in the best shape with CrossFit, like I am the most well-rounded and most quote-unquote fit uh, in comparison to, you know, bodybuilding or just strength endurance or just, you know, strength training in general. The thing that I appreciate the most is like how mentally challenging it is and how like rewarding it is to feel like completed afterwards. Like I'm the only one here. No one would know if I'm doing these reps, but like there's, even in the midst of it when it sucks and it's awful, it's one of those things where it's like, I'll know, you know? I'll get done and be like, yeah, you had two more. You, you cut it short. Like, you gotta carry that with you. But I'll know. And uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's cool, like mentally, be able to push through those barriers and things of that nature. So, it translates a lot to, honestly, even business. Fit fitness is, is very, fitness has helped me tremendously throughout the years and uh, I don't stop with it. Obviously, I may not prioritize as much as I used to. I used to do like, you know, two, two workouts a day or something like that. Now, if I can get it in, it definitely helps with everything else, but uh, I love it. It sucks, but I love it. And so that's where we're at, done with that. Can check that off the list for Sunday. Boom, getting ready for the week. Another, uh, another open workout coming in hot. Hopefully I don't die. Probably will, like I have on the other ones. Just got back from buying a property. I'll show you the breakdown, I'll show you the property and uh, come take a look. 
All right, so forgive my uh, terrible screen, but this is the property we bought here in Lakeland, Florida. This estimate has it at 277. We just closed on it for 165. So with the house, we were gonna potentially wholesale it, but she needed to close quickly. And she was buying another house, so I'm gonna let her stay in it for two weeks. We ended up just buying it. Doesn't need a whole lot. She knew she was taking less, but uh, hopefully we'll make around $40,000 on that one. She knew she was gonna take less, but uh, she preferred going with me because I could guarantee closing. And we got that one from a PPC campaign. So a lead came in, I answered it, set up an appointment, went, got under contract. So I bought the property from her, let her stay there for two weeks. She's buying another property. And so it all worked out perfect. People are hating as we use uh, the gamer chairs for our office meetings, but listen, I prioritize spending money on the business right now, even though I know we need to, uh, we need to put some more money back into decorating this place. But we, uh, we're very specific on where our funds go right now because we're trying to grow. And we actually had quite a few months. This month has blown up. So update, we have a really good deal closing uh, on my birthday actually, which is March 29th. That'll be $50,000. We have another one that we're trying to lock up right now that'll close this month, it'll be like 30. And then we had two others die, which I think I told everyone about, but it's not gonna be a very big month. I mean, you're looking like, we're probably gonna be looking like 80 to $100,000 this month. And we need to be more than that, which I sound ungrateful. If you would have told me a year ago, it's like, oh yeah, you're doing consistently 6,000, you know, $100,000 plus months, I'd be happy. You hedonically adapt to wherever you're at. So just right now, trying to get better, trying to do more each month. And we've gotten used, the bare minimum is now $100,000. So that's a good thing. Um, but there's actually only four of us now on the team, which is, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. I have a lot of deals we're looking at right now. Uh, trying to sell off some deals, gonna lose money on like three flips. Gonna lose money on three flips, which is freaking cool. So also we're gonna be hiring again here soon for another person. A big goal of mine in quarter two is to bring on some more deals and find a way to bring revenue to straight to bottom line. So referral deals, deals through realtors, things that we don't have to pay to get, right? It's a more of a pay per play model. So if a realtor brings us a deal, you know, we partner with them, flip it, essentially that goes straight to the bottom line, uh, as opposed to having to pay for marketing, more management, more team to manage those leads. It's just referral leads, boom, straight to the bottom line. So uh, as of this month, we have, we're in March, We've gotten three contracts so far, which is not good at all. We are way behind. Everything's kind of just blowing up. Uh, it's been actually a pretty tough quarter. Um, we're gonna end up around $300,000 for this quarter, which is honestly, I mean, it's right around where we projected, but I just feel like we should be doing much better. So we're gonna be on track in theory, maybe just shy of where we need to be uh, as we start ramping up throughout the year. But it has been pretty brutal, not gonna lie. So. There's always ways to improve. A couple areas that we've been pretty bad in is dispositions. When we get a property, you know, under contract, selling those properties. We're also losing money on about four flips. So I'll talk about those. And uh, yeah, a lot more uh, interesting stuff going on. Lessons, lessons. Had a couple flips that we have right now that I'm trying to just sell them so I don't have to deal with them anymore. Uh, I'm gonna lose money and I'm okay with that because I just wanna get my money back. We've put quite a bit of our own money into those flips so we're just trying to get that money back so that we can have it and operate and not focus on dealing with them. So even if I sell them at a loss, I'm okay with that. I mean, and starting in April, we're gonna have to start hitting $170,000 a month to hit our goal for over 2 million this year. I'm just really struggling with it right now because we're just like, everything's falling apart. So it's like a tough time right now, but so it goes. Uh, probably sounds kind of depressing, but uh, it's just an update. It's just a matter of fact. And it's actually a night, seven o'clock, <laughs> and my buddy Justice, is still here. What a guy. There's his whip. There's mine. No one else. <laughs>